There was a saying that I heard growing up, and it was the job of the artist is to convince the world of his lie. Meaning that what he creates isn't real, but it's okay to enjoy it for what it is. And as an artist, that's your job. Magic is one of those things people have to believe our lie. If they don't, it doesn't work. People don't want to see magic. They don't know what it is. You pull out a deck of cards, they look at you like, what are you doing? You know, I've seen this when my nephew showed me this. There's a lot of barriers you gotta break through. Believe will crack through that wall. And it's one of the few tricks that I've found that can actually do that. It's a pretty powerful thing. Believe is an effect that involves a selected playing card. A spectator picks a card, signs their name across the face, the card is lost. You bring out a random card card you know is not theirs and you can point it out and be as obvious as you want about it and then you take it and say I want you to believe it's your card. You just tear off a piece and you put that piece on the table and tell them we'll start small. Wave your hands over and the piece changes into the card that they wrote their name on. That's the first moment and it's a powerful one but when they turn over that card that's been sitting there and the corner is still missing and it's got their name on it, life changes. It's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I was like shocked. I don't even know what to say. I wrote my name on the card, and then he picked a different card, and it wasn't my card. That's what I'm saying. It wasn't my card. And then you flipped this over. Tore it. I saw Washington. Oh, he tore it. Bam. The card. That's ridiculous.